I think that's really marvellous. Nora Atkinson describing the images that helped Devon Smith create this painting to hopefully help Nora's condition. Nora has partial sight and was aware of tall, grey-haired figures. Walking towards the bed, very, very slowly, and when I've recognised them, they sort of disappear quickly. The figures that would come out of her airing cupboard and the reason why she'd put this chair underneath the airing cupboard door just to stop her brain from activating and creating those figures again. Nora has Charles Bonnet syndrome, a condition that affects the visually impaired. It's visual hallucinations, um, so whatever the person is seeing looks completely real. Um, but it's, it's nothing to do with mental health, it's entirely to do with the brain reacting to the lack of um, visual stimulus following that loss. The Norfolk and Norwich Association for the Blind is working with seven local artists who will illustrate the hallucinations of those with sight loss. This was a lady's hallucination who's in her 90s and her daughter's now in her 50s or 60s. But she will see her, I think, nearly every day walk into the living room as she was as a 10-year-old. And she sits and she plays, everything is silent. And then she smiles at her and then she gets up and leaves the room and she's always wearing red. Louise Richardson explaining her work to Karen Norton, who started having hallucinations 15 years ago. At the time I just thought, hang on here, I'm losing my sight. Am I losing my mind as well? Because they were quite scary um, because I didn't know anything about Charles Bonnet syndrome. I didn't realise it was part of my vision um, sort of journey, if you like. Matt Reeves' work is based on listening to accounts of those affected by the condition. Scary to think that some people are experiencing images like this. I make puppets, so a lot of my puppets tend to be weird distorted shapes or caricatures, but nothing quite as sinister as this. And they can be quite frightening, especially if they come at night, and especially um, if you live on your own or you're a vulnerable person. To have these grotesque, monstrous faces appear in front of you in the middle of the night would be terrifying. The artist's work will be on display till May the 13th in the hope of raising awareness of this little-known condition. My goodness, that could be terrifying. Well, that exhibition is at the Forum in Norwich and Malcolm is there for us tonight. Malcolm. Well, guests uh, have just begun arriving for the official launch of the exhibition. There we can see Nora Atkinson, who featured in that report. And here we can see the painting that uh, Nora is part of, sitting on the bed and, of course, that chair there, keeping in those horrible images that uh, Nora was subjected to. Now, one of the leading experts in this field is Dr Dominic Fitch, who very shortly will be addressing guests. But uh, a few minutes ago, I managed to catch a few words with him. Do we know why some people get Charles Bonnet syndrome and not others? Well, this is a very important question. So we know that not everyone with the same eye disease will get the hallucinations. So there's something different about the 10 to 20% of people that get them, something different about the way their brains have responded to eye disease. That's what we think. And whether it's a difference in the wiring or some other difference in the way that the, the brain is responding. Some of them very scary, but for not everybody, it's a problem. That's right. About two thirds of people they don't mind them once they know what they are. The big, the big scare factor is the belief that you might be suffering from a mental illness or in the early stages of dementia. But once you know that's not the case and it's a normal response of the brain, then there's only about a third of people that really find them distressing and troubling and want them to go away and, and seek further medical help. Well, some wonderful images on display tonight. And here we can see Devon, who painted that... Uh, painting of Nora. It's all really about a ways, uh, raising the awareness of Charles Bonnet syndrome and this exhibition, just to confirm, will carry on for the next fortnight. Terrific stuff.